Welcome back. It's time to check in with Bob Bosold over at Wax to get our ag news this morning. Hey, Bob. Good morning. How are you guys? He's got his badger red on, is celebrating <laughs> a badger win, and uh, Valentine's and, Day. They've been few and far between, believe me, those yes. wins. Hey, what were you guys doing 47 years ago today? Um, I wasn't <laughs> born yet. <laughs> Was this your debut on Wax? 47 years ago today. Wax oh, wow. and, and Channel 13. At that time, we oh, were that, all one organization. That's right. Yeah, people remember uh, Jim Crandall. Uh, Tim Cannon was the, uh, not a meteorologist back then, he was a weatherman with a magic marker on the boards and uh, with uh, a lot different. I bet uh, in the years there have been, I'll bet there have been 50 different set changes in the <laughs> studio there. I've seen, I, I've seen a few. <laughs> <laughs> it, ha it has evolved, but uh, some of us have hung on. It's been a good run. I've well, enjoyed congratulations yes. to your 47th year. Yeah, I've enjoyed every bit of it. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. Agriculture, that's changed too. Wisconsin's 2023 vegetable crop harvest turned out pretty good. For snap beans, of which Wisconsin produces 48% of the nation's total, farmers harvested almost 52,000 acres, about 4,000 less than 2022, but yields total 6.75 million hundredweight, more than three times the yield in Florida which ranks second in snap bean production. The value of the crop for production purposes, $13.8 million. The production value of that crop, $52 million. Now, the state's sweet corn harvest came in at 10.7 million hundredweight last year. Production on 55,000 acres. The value of the fresh market crop, $26 million, with processed sweet corn values coming in just over $58 million makes my mouth water thinking about good fresh sweet corn, doesn't it? We rank third nationally, by the way, in sweet corn production. For other vegetable crops grown in Wisconsin, the 2023 green pea harvest, 1.39 million hundredweight and value of $26.6 million, while the cabbage crop totaled 2.4 million hundredweight at a value of just over $32 million. A lot of it's in the crocks, making sauerkraut right now. Well, there are some things Governor Tony Evers and the Republican-controlled legislature can work together on, including the need to improve our rural roads across the state. This week, the parties involved held a press conference to encourage local governments to apply for the first round of grants for road repairs under the Agriculture Road Improvement Program, which is part of Wisconsin Act 13 that was passed last year as part of the state budget. The program has available $150 million to pay for improving local roads that cause problems for agriculture and the logging industry and others due to weight postings, some of which are already in place this spring because of the unusual warm weather. Farmers can use a website to uh, tell their local leaders how much of an economic loss they are taking by having to travel extra miles because their roads are in such bad shape and can't handle modern equipment. The money for the program will pay up to 90% for road improvements. Applications for the first $50 million are due by April 1st. Well, Bayer Ag officials say that despite all the lawsuits they are fighting over the use of glyphosate, they are going ahead with their reorganization of the company plans. The company is shifting to what they call a dynamic shared ownership that will include layoffs mainly at the management level. They hope to have their new system in place by the end of this year with their transition in their agriculture division already taking place, and that's happening mainly in Illinois and here in Wisconsin. Market just on the Board of Trade, corn, beans, they were lower yesterday, mainly because of the strong dollar and indifferent demand. As we look, March corn this morning down another two cents, sitting at 428. The wheat down 11 at 586. March soybeans down 8 at 1178. That price was 1190 yesterday. Dairy markets, we had barrel cheese a half a cent higher yesterday, trading at $1.60. Both block cheese and butter prices were unchanged. Looking at the Class 3 futures, they were mixed. February, the near month, was down two cents, 1619. March up 17. April was up 11. But uh, after that, prices were mainly lower out through September. So that's where we are. Hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah you, you too. too. Have a good one. We will see you in the morning. Yep. See you, Bob.